It's time for CIBL Biz Tips, bringing you actionable strategies to grow and improve your business. Prepare to become civilized. What's up, Central Illinois? It's Derek Hayden here with Garrett Ulmer. We are your hosts for the Central Illinois Business Leaders Podcast. This is Biz Tips number three, where we bring you tips, tricks, tactics to help you uh, gain some business, increase your sales, really just improve your business game in general. So what we're going to talk about today is books. So some books that we have read or are reading or have been recommended to us um, that can help give you some um, business savvy tactics. Um, So Garrett, what are you reading now? I tell you uh, right now, first off, yes, Derek and I can read for all you individuals that you know (laughs) or have been listening to this. We try. Books on tape. (laughs) Exactly. So I tell you what, Derek, one of the books I'm reading right now was uh, referred to to us from one of our guests, Josh uh, Rorschai. Sorry if I messed your name up there, Josh, but uh, it's Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. And I want to say that he was referred that book from one of our guests, Brandon Locker, as well, if I remember right from our discussion. Yep. So I'm about three quarters of the way through that. And man, it's a great book on just how to speak to individuals, learn how to you know comprehend what they're trying to, to get from you and what you're also trying to learn from them. So great book and highly recommend it. Yep. One of the um, one of the books I have to recommend that I read probably four or five months ago. So our first two biz tips episodes were about video. Um, so I read a book called Visual Sale. And it is by uh, the author is Marcus Sheridan. I think he co-authored that with someone. I can't remember the name, but the visual sale is all about using video in business. And a lot of the tips um, that they share in that book, um, Garrett and I have put to use. Um, and actually, when I read it, we were already doing a lot of the things um, that that book recommended. So felt good about what I was doing. But if you are new to video or wanting to get better at video then I recommend grabbing that book. It was a pretty quick read. It gives you some strategies that you can use immediately in your business. Yeah. I tell you another one that, um, well, Derek, if you look over, if my camera angle is right, your right, is it your right shoulder? And I see that purple cow back there in your office. So that's a great book to check out. Purple cow by Seth Godin. Um, and it's just that, and, and Derek and I talk about it a lot. And, and basically what it's going to go over with you is, is how to stand out and be different in your market and what other businesses and, and how they have made it work um, with people that do the similar st- type of stuff that they that you have to offer, but how you can stand out and be different. So that's a, a great book to check out there. Um, another one that both Garrett and I, um, I don't know if Garrett's read it yet, but we have taken strategies from the author, is called Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Um, so this is one of my all-time favorite reads. Um, I still follow Chris Voss even after um, reading the book, I've I've purchased the master class uh, where he talks about um, hostage negotiation, basically. So if Chris Voss is a is the ex FBI hostage negotiator. He was the lead negotiator for hostages back in the '90s, I think. So what he does is he basically converts hostage negotiation into business use, and just talks about how you can utilize those same tactics um, in conversation to. Uh, when people win business, um, how to create more conversation, how to get people talking about their experiences. Um, so it's been super intriguing, and, and Garrett and I use those tactics on a regular basis. Actually, if you listen to all of our podcasts, you can probably take out some of the strategies that we learned from Chris Voss in our podcast. Um, once you start, once you read the book and go back and listen to some of our stuff, you're gonna say that was a Chris Vossism yeah. right there. So. Um, I think I'll speak for Garrett when I say that that's been a huge hit for our um, for our uh, business. Off the book side there, but you know it's funny because it, a lot of these books kind of correlate around the same thing, Derek, and you'll agree. It's about becoming a better listener and not talking all the time, which is sometimes hard for any individual that's in sales. But it, it all goes back to becoming an excellent listener. And um, it's funny, everybody at that point then will start looking at you as a, a great conversationalist. But I'm going to go over a couple, just a couple quick books here that are on my list um, to, to check out um, here soon. And that is uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and then the One Page Marketing Plan 
those are on my, uh, as soon as I get done finishing up here with the uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People, those are the two books that I'm, I'm looking to, to start dabbling into next, Derek. What do you got on your list to check out? Well, I'm I'm getting ready to start. I've like like read the first one page of introducing the book. Um, it is called well, it's, some, it's like LinkedIn Sales Strategies. I think is the name of the book, but it is written by Daniel Disney. Um, he's a LinkedIn influencer and has a lot of um, big hits on LinkedIn and kind of teaches you about how to gain attention on LinkedIn and how to um, win business. So I'll keep you all updated on how that goes. I don't know if there's anything else I have to recommend, but. No, the biggest thing for me is, is Derek and I are always open to hearing about one of the things we try to ask uh, most of our guests or just individuals that uh, um, kind of are in our circle of influence is what are you reading and, and how's it helping you? And uh, so if you've got some tips of some books that you have read that have been an in, a big influence for you and kind of made you think outside the box, be sure to uh, let us know so we can pass that on, not only just to us, but our listeners as well. Yep. Well, that's all I've got, Garrett. We wanted to keep it short and sweet. Boom. Um, this has been Biz Tips number three. So until next time, y'all have been civilized. Catch you later. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Central Illinois Business Leaders Podcast. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash CIBL podcast. You can also follow us on LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review. It's the civilized thing to do.